Hey guys, uh, welcome to the first class um, called Perform Child Protect Duties Relevant to the Tourism Industry. Uh, so I'll be honest, this is going to be a hard class. Uh, this is something that uh, is going on a lot in Cambodia, uh, child sex tourism. Uh, so we're going to be learning about what child sex tourism is, why it happens in Cambodia, how it happens in Cambodia, and most importantly, what we can do to help stop it. Um, especially when you guys start working in a hotel, um, you might come across people who, who you think might be doing um, some things, maybe, uh, maybe getting uh, wrapped up in the child sex tourism industry, and you'll be able to spot these people, and and or um, notice children who might be um, in the child sex industry uh, and being able to help them and help rescue them and help them um, return to a normal life, to having the life that a child should have. Uh, so first, let's take a look at what is child sex tourism. Uh, so uh, to put it um, most simply, uh, child sex tourism is when people, uh, mostly men from other countries, travel to Cambodia, in this case, uh, because they want to have sex with children under the age of 18 years old. Uh, so a child is anyone who is between 0 and 18 years old, and uh, children as young as 3 years old um, have been seen in child sex tourism. So it's, uh, it's super, super sad. It's something that's happening today in 2020, and it's something that we need to uh, be aware of, recognize that it's happening in this country, and being able to help stop. Uh, so I have the uh, Khmer translation of industry. Um, I hope that's correct. Uh, children who are in the child sex industry are forced to have sex with these people and can do nothing to stop or get out of the industry unless they are rescued by an NGO or the police. Uh, so this is these people who have been either taken from their homes or sold. Uh, there's, there's nothing they can do. They're children. Um, they're your guys' age they're, uh, or they're a little younger. Um, and they're trapped. Uh, sometimes they're locked up in rooms um, and they don't know anybody. Um, and, and yeah, unless they're rescued, it's it's very hard to, for them to remove themselves from the situation. Um, and just a little bit of vocab, uh, people who have sex with children are called pedophiles. Uh, and I hope that uh, my translation is correct on that. Um, so why is there so much sex tourism in Cambodia? That's a good question to ask ourselves. Um, and really it's because uh, Cambodia's laws are not as strict as other countries, uh, such as the U.S. or the U.K. or Canada, um, countries like that, uh, where they have really strict laws. So it's much harder for people to go um, and do these things with children. But places like uh, Cambodia, uh, even Thailand, um, some other countries where the laws aren't as strict, it's easy for, for people um, or men to come visit Cambodia to, to do these things to children and then to leave and never get in trouble or with the police or nobody even uh, really know what's happening. Um, and unless there's more laws in Cambodia, uh, tourists will still come to, to Cambodia to have sex with children. Uh, this isn't going to stop. Um, unless more laws are put in place, more people are made aware. Uh, and this is where you guys can come in working in a hotel to notice these things, notice uh, these people or these children uh, that, that are, that are uh, stuck in this situation. And you can say, hey, that child looks to me like they are in trouble. Let me call the correct people so they can come and rescue this child. Um, so that's really what we want this class to focus on, is noticing the signs when a child is in trouble, a child might be um, 